and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And you guys, the amount of times I have been tagged on this on TikTok, I'm so excited to finally try it. You guys, this is a blast from the past. I used to have a device just like this in the 90s, I think, but I'm pretty sure like this was also already a thing in the 80s. I feel like we also saw a revival of this in the early 2000s. Uh, this particular one though is from um, the brand Parlor and it's called Pop Iron. And I probably should have already told you guys by now what this thing does. It is a flat iron like object, but it has stamping plates in it. So not only can you straighten your hair with this thing and crimp your hair with this thing, supposedly, you can also stamp three fun shapes like a uh, Lucky Charms cereal. You can have um, heart stars and rainbows just kidding, just hard stars and lightning bolts. And then like I said, we have um, straightener plates and crimper plates. I actually did not know that. This is available on Amazon. And if you wanna check it out for yourself, I do have a nifty little Amazon affiliate link in the info box down below. So you can click on it and check it out, see the price and all the other info if you want to. So. That being said, fingers crossed that we do not burn ourselves today, you guys, because that is truly what I am mostly concerned about. Do I have a whole lot of patience? No. And they do say before you can change the stamping plate, you're obviously supposed to unplug the device, wait for it to cool to room temperature. I wish that there was a way that they could make it so you could just like maybe stack the stamper plates one on top of each other. Maybe you're not supposed to test all the shapes or like use all the shapes in the same day. I don't know you guys, let's test them all. I did already switch out the plates. Why did I do that in air quotes? I literally switched out the plates um, because it comes with the straightener like already preloaded in there. I should have remembered that this was a straightener because I did already straighten my hair today and I didn't do it with this bad boy. It's super easy to switch out the plates. It's so intuitive. I didn't even read the instructions before I attempted to do it. You just take this uh, black like casing cover off, slide the plate on there, slide the black casing back over the top and wham bam, you got some lightning bolts. I kind of feel like I'm gonna like the lightning bolts the best. Also, I have many different color extensions in my hair today because I kind of thought it would maybe be more fun to test the shapes, like not only on my own hair, but also on someone else's hair. I don't know. They also give you a heat protectant glove, which I just really appreciate with any hair styling tool because you guys, if I had a dime for every time I have like burnt myself with some kind of wacky zany styling tool over the last 10 years, my gosh. Um, okay. So I'm just going to try to stamp my own hair first. I don't know why I thought maybe it would be more fun to see the designs on like brightly colored hair more than just like my blonde. Also, I noticed that the heat is in Celsius. I unfortunately have no knowledge of what how many, how many hot Celsius is, but it goes 250, 300, 350, 400, and 450 Celsius. I just went for a maximum crispy, crunchy hair. Why did I do that? I don't know. Ooh, as I'm wafting this in the air, I smell hot plastic. Everyone's favorite variety of plastic. Oh yeah, they say um half an inch thick and three inch wide section of hair. I did slightly consult the instructions, but. I kind of don't know why I can't feel like I, like what, what am I doing here? I don't know. I can't see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five. That was longer than five seconds, but that's, can we see anything? Did anything happen? It smells like I just crimped my hair. I'm just gonna, I almost said I'm gonna unplug um, this extension. <laughs> see, I feel like this would be super fun to do on like some extensions and then you can like see the design that you're stamping in and you're not like damaging your own hair. I can see this. I hope you guys can see this. Oh! 
One, two, three, four, five. It's smoking. Um, what is that? Can you guys see? Oh, 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 I can see that. Okay, because like, look at the back. Okay, this is what I saw first. And I was like, what? Okay, no, it clearly looks like a lightning bolt there too. You guys, what is wrong with my eyes? Because when I look at it on the camera, I'm like, wow, lightning bolt. When I look at it with the naked eye, I swear it looks like literally nothing. This is like, it's an optical illusion. Speaking of retro stuff, oh my God, do you guys remember Magic Eye? Oh, I used to love that. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five. What do we have here? Nothing. Y'all, this visually looks like, this is so weird. I wish you guys were here with me right now so that you could just see what I see, which is, <laughs> it's so weird. It looks like nothing to my naked eye. I'm struggling to see anything, but do you guys see a lightning bolt? Look, let's clip this bad boy in my hair and have a look. Does my hair look shocking like a lightning bolt? Look, I'm gonna, you, you analyze and leave me a comment down below what you think about my lightning bolt hair. I'm gonna sippy sippy. Yes. What do you think? I actually have some of my black extensions as well. Look at that. We should like straighten these with the straightening plate. Um, but let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five. And then that way, like hopefully you guys can see what this would look like on a range. One, two, three, four, five. Do you guys see the smoke? Oh. Um, how does that look? Mm? I feel like that one like somehow came out messier. Maybe it's because one, two, three, four, five. Do you guys see the hair smoke? So I feel like my, oh my God, now you can see them. But see, I feel like it's cause I'm kind of like pulling the hair tighter, which I feel like that was my intuition that I feel like this style would look better on like pre-straightened hair. Let me unplug this so that we can prepare ourselves to change the plate. I don't know how long this thing is gonna take to cool to room temperature. It heated up really, really fast. It does say that it works on all hair types, but I don't know, you guys, what do y'all think? I feel like definitely you can see the print better on like hair when it's straighter, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, what shape should we do next, hearts? Stars. I'm gonna figure it out and wait for this thing to cool down because it is, it is very, very hot right now, as you might imagine. 30 minutes later, maybe 20 minutes later, I'm back and next we're gonna test the heart plate, which sounds kind of gross when I say heart plate. And oh my God, you guys, this thing takes so long to cool down. When I came back, I still felt like, well, you know what? Oh. Okay, I feel like I just now can touch these last plates with my naked hands, but they're honestly still pretty warm. Unless you're gonna spend like all day getting ready or something, probably don't plan on practically being able to do multiple shapes in one day. I felt like orange is good for lightning. Green is good for stars. Purple is good for hearts. What are we gonna do with the blue? I don't know, we got it way back here, you guys. Can you even see that? Where did the blue go, right? Don't I have, I have blue extensions in here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> do we have a heart? Just barely. I feel like definitely it is easier to like get the placement you want if you're holding the hair in your hand and looking at it. Also this time I want to stamp it like embossed and debossed, if that makes sense. I wanna see if it like looks better or different either way. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I feel like I felt the same way um, when I had this when I was a kid, which is, like theoretically you can kind of see a shape there. Like if you're way up close next to somebody, are you specifically tell somebody, hey, look at this heart. 
I've stamped in my hair. Overall, like, can you really tell that that's like a heart from like super far away or something? I just feel like it's not as obvious of a style as like if you curled your hair, waved your hair, crimped your hair, straightened your hair. You know what I mean? I don't know if this is gonna look any different. Let me know if y'all can tell. I feel like you can. I actually think I like the heart a little bit better than the lightning bolt. Let me turn my head again so you guys can see kind of from far away. I'm really excited to hear y'all's opinion about that. Can we see that? I almost feel like I should stop testing the shapes on this hair until I straighten it. For whatever reason, if I straighten my natural hair, it will be straight for days. If I straighten extensions, I have to style them or straighten them rather like every time I want to wear them. It's so weird. Does anybody else have an experience like that? We're gonna test stars next. It's star time. Three, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna, oh my, why? Okay, I don't even see anything on the camera that time. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at what I've done, you guys. <gasps> That's why it's so important. I did notice this um, a little while ago. Oh my God, I'm so silly. Now I'm gonna have to like wait so much longer. Oh my God, you guys, okay. So um, I guess the crimping plates are not like that. So let me show you guys on the shaper plates. You have to make sure with the shaper plates, they do have like an arrow that you're supposed to make sure it's like pointed in the same place, you guys. Oh my gosh, I knew I was gonna mess up somehow. So I loaded the plates in wrong. So I put one like right side up and one upside down. So the stars are not like, can you guys see that? Like it's not like pressing in there. Oh my God, you guys, I don't know if I have the patience for this literally. Yeah, cause this is like, so hot still, oh my God. I feel like it's kind of fascinating that I don't feel like I've ever had another hot tool that starts out automatically on the highest heat. Like I would have to press the button multiple times to get it to go lower. I really know that it's like not healthy for your hair and that I should probably never be using hot tools on my hair to like that heat setting. Um, but personally, I just feel like crimping and like shaper plates like this, like it personally will not stay in my hair unless I do it on the highest heat setting, which is why you guys, I had to stop crimping my hair. I will like crimp extensions and then clip them in and style my hair like that so I can still get a kind of crimped look. It is sad that that style is so damaging because definitely crimped hair is my all time favorite style. Um, but I pulled so much of my hair out by just like crimping it over and over and over again. Oh my God, you guys. I don't know that I should ever crimp my natural hair again. Okay, once again, we have a solid light. So let's try this again. Now I'm gonna flip it right around so that we know we're getting embossed and debossed. Okay, that was definitely longer than five seconds. So there we go. Is star my favorite shape? Maybe, maybe you guys. Like I said, I'm like so excited to hear you guys' feedback to see if y'all really like can tell that much that it's a shape. You guys, I'm actually surprised by the quality of the crimper plates. I didn't really think I would care for it too much because truthfully, I would consider this a little bit more of a micro crimp. Normally when I crimp my hair, I like to use like a deep crimper. Um, if you guys can see, like the crimping plates are quite, shallow compared to like the crimper that I used to use. I just prefer the way that that type of crimping looks because I feel like it's like more dynamic. It's a little bit more crunchy. I feel like it gives you a little bit more volume. Um, but I feel like this is like a great crimper. And dare I say, you could maybe even use this uh, to lift like the roots a little bit. If you guys know, like the volume is one of my favorite and probably most used hair tools ever. It kind of gives you like a micro crimped effect that you use just at the roots of your hair. And then that way you're not having to like 
A, commit to a crimped style, or B, like do all overheat to your hair, but you can still get like the volume. I feel like that's why I love crimping so much is because it just makes your hair like massive. And I love that so much. I just, um, you know, Texas, I love big, big, big hair. Quite impressed um, with this crimper. So much that I would say, if you've ever considered getting a crimper, maybe you might want to get this one because then you just have like the additional option to have the fun stamper plates. Whereas like normally crimpers, you know, you can only crimp with them. I'm going to see if I can link you guys to the hot tools and the volume, like the other hair tools I'm talking about in the info box down below. Um, I have always used like the hot tools crimper. I feel like it's like the cheapest crimper I've ever bought in my life and like the best crimper I've ever bought in my life. I've definitely repurchased that one like over and over and over because you guys, I have literally used crimpers so much in my life. I literally use them until they break. I don't think I can say that about another hair dryers. I'm actually pretty impressed with the straightening function of this as well, because I feel like I was just gonna, for fun, um, test it on the sections that I just crimped, because usually I almost feel like it's impossible to just straighten crimps out of your hair. Like, I feel like kind of the only way to remove that style from your hair is to wash it and start over again. Um, you can still see some of the crimping, I feel like. Um, I feel like this bright green is like kind of making the camera like wash out the footage or whatever, but I feel like it kind of made even the crimps look um, pretty straight. I was also curious, like maybe if you put a stamp in your hair and then you decided like, mm, I don't really like that that much, how much would the straightener remove the stamping? that we just did. And once again, I mean, I feel like it did a good enough job that like, if I had these extensions in my hair or something, I don't really feel like you can see the shapes there too well. I can kind of see like a little bit of it, um, but not much. The only thing I don't like about using this device as a straightener is I didn't even notice until now. Um, it does have these like comb grooves on either side, which that may be helpful for some people, but I always feel like tools like that are a little bit more grabby. Like personally, I would not wanna straighten my hair with this straightener. I would straighten like wigs, extensions, whatever. Um, but I would not wanna straighten my hair with something that's so grabby. I feel like a lot of times that just unnecessarily like pulls strands of hair out of my head that I would rather it not do. But once again, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that may find a tool like that helpful. I'm sure that that's why they include it there. I've seen other brands do that as well. I'm pretty sure even Dyson does have um, those combs on the end, but I think it's like a little bit more of a sophisticated system um, where you can like remove the combs if you don't wanna use that. I'm trying to remember what Dyson we just tested. Anyway, you guys, that being said, I'm actually really impressed with this item. I definitely do think it does really work. I'm like really happy too because honestly this device is made by the same people that made the new waiver that like funky kind of it's supposed to give you a tousled tussled hair. We tested that a couple months back and I was not that impressed with the device. Like I felt like it was a little clunky. It was definitely like not one of my favorites. So if you get something from this brand, I feel like go for this. I feel like it's super fun and funky and I'm glad to see these kind of like throwback retro items like making their way back in the beauty scene. It's whimsical, you know? Um, and can't we all use a little whimsy in our lives? So yeah, I definitely love this. Will I use it all the time? Probably not. Would I use it for special looks, special occasions? Certainly. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget, let me know what you think about today's item. And if you've seen something else around, it can be anywhere in the world, anywhere on the internet. If you've seen another item that you would like for me to test out here, leave it as a comment down below. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, 
hit the button down below, subscribe, and become a member of the Swamp Fam, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!